Hey guys, in this video, let's have a look at how to do this kind of uh, animated background using After Effects. Now, this video is inspired by Mike from Mobox Graphics. Uh, there will be a link in the description, and I highly recommend you to checking it out. Uh, the way he made it work is completely different than what I'm about to do. But either ways, uh, just check out that video. It might be helpful for you guys. Also, I'm using this plugin called Motion V2 to align the anchor point. The plugin is not free, but if you really want the plugin, I'll provide a link in the description. And an alternate way of doing that is by downloading a free preset called Animation Composer. Um, it's actually really handy and it provides uh, the anchor point move selection tool or whatever it's called. Uh, it does the job for you. So that's that. Okay, so first of all, we'll start off by creating those small elements which you can see in the background. So for that, let's create a new composition which is going to be about uh, 50 pixels by 50 pixels and I'm going to make it uh, about 15 seconds long. So right here, you can basically choose any shape you want but I'm going to go with a triangle, a square, a pentagon, a hexagon, um, let's just see. So I'll click and hold this rectangle tool and choose the star tool. Um, I actually want no stroke and I want a fill to be a white color. And then by holding shift from the between, I'm just going to draw a, a star. And uh, let me just quickly align that in the center. So now uh, when I go into contents, poly star one, poly star path one, and you can see there's something called points. And if I increase that, you can see uh, it's pretty much straightforward. There is increase in points. So right now I need a triangle. So it's going to be three. And um, let's actually uh, put that in center. So I want the anchor point to be exactly in the between of the shape. So I'll choose the pan behind tool or you can press Y on the keyboard. I'm going to manually move the point to a place where it's roughly about the center of the triangle. And then in the align tool, I'm just going to align it to the center. I'm actually going to scale it down. Uh, about, uh, let's see, I think 30. For some reason, sometimes this does not get aligned in the center. So uh, yeah, that's that. Um, I'm also going to name it a uh, triangle. And inside the project panel, I'm going to select triangle and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl plus D. Um, I'll call it square and then double click to open that. Now uh, it's really simple from here you're just gonna go into contents polystar 1 polystar path 1 and just increase the point to 4. Uh, now you can see that it's it's not exactly a square so you can adjust the inner radius or the outer radius. Um, I think 18 does the job yeah so uh, there's that that is square and we will rotate it just so it fits like this okay so that was square I'm going to do the same thing for about two to three times and I'll just create a few more uh, shapes Uh, let's create a new composition and this time it's going to be 1920 by 15 pixels uh, 15 seconds and I'm going to drag all the tiny objects that I just created so that's that and now I want to align them I want to bring it uh, in the beginning I want my objects to be placed somewhat like this but I want equal spacing between them so uh, I'll go into position and just bring them back and what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna double click this comp one and it's gonna expand I'm gonna select everything uh, right click and separate dimensions now I just want to make them move in the X position so I'm gonna add a expression in the X position by pressing Alt and then clicking over here. Now I'm gonna type index 
times um, let's see 50 minus 15 now what that expression basically means is that every time I duplicate any of the layers uh, which has the expression in them it's gonna duplicate that and place it exactly uh, 50 uh, pixels apart from each other so I'm actually gonna copy this uh, expression and paste it uh, in all the compositions that I just created so odd click and control plus V odd click and control plus V uh, now you can see that it's kind of uh, these are kind of uniformly positioned and the thing is if I take any of the uh, layers and place it down it kind of acts accordingly and places it in the last but then the gap between them is still uh, uniform if that makes sense so now what I'm basically gonna do is I'm gonna expand the composition and uh, I'm gonna duplicate all of them uh, quite a few times and just uh, randomly start positioning them uh, around my composition and as I start creating more and more copies of them you can see that they are still aligned uh, uniformly which is what exactly we want so I'm going to duplicate this uh, enough time so that the entire line gets covered by uh, all of these shapes. Um, I think it's about done. I think one more is required. So let's duplicate the square and takes it here. Um, okay, so after uh, duplicating them 40 times, it seems that it fits this composition. One thing that really annoys me is the first shape. It's um, only a half of that shape is visible. Um, so in order to fix that, I actually don't know how to fix that, but I just make it invisible. And in the main composition, what I do is I just uh, take this composition and uh, shift it a little bit towards the left. Okay, so now that we have done our uh, main horizontal line, I'll just, um, I'll actually rename this to um, let me see line I think and that makes sense and then I'm gonna select everything uh, hit R on the keyboard to bring down the rotation properties uh, set a keyframe in the beginning and go to the end and change the value over here to three times I think now all the shapes just start uh, rotating if you can see that one thing you can notice is that all of them are rotating uh, uniformly uh, also at the same direction so again I'll expand that I'll press U on the keyboard to uh, collapse the properties I'm gonna select things randomly what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna hit right click time and time reverse layer or Control alt R now you can see that there is a little bit more randomness in this. Some shapes are moving anti-clockwise instead of clockwise. And that is exactly what we want. Okay, so now in the main composition, by the way, this is 1920 by 1080. I'll bring down the line composition. Uh, as I said, I'll be shifting this a little bit towards the right. I mean, towards the left. Um, I think that much is enough um, I'm gonna go uh, use my motion V2 tool and align the anchor point of this uh, line composition at the top and hit P on the keyboard uh, make the Y coordinate to 0 so that it goes uh, towards the top and now the same thing I'm gonna right click and separate dimensions uh, just like we did for each of these shapes, I'm going to add an expression for uh, Y position this time because we want to duplicate it towards the down. So I'll click on the Y position and then same thing index uh, times 50 minus 50. And now uh, I'm just going to duplicate this composition enough times so that it just fills our entire composition. Uh, the same thing is happening again. Um, the very last um, uh, line that we duplicated actually for some reason just I don't know why it does not seem to work like this so um, 
to cover up that i am just going to select everything and control shift c to pre comp this um i think i'll call this uh, let's just leave it to pre comp one i don't know guess and now uh, i can just move the composition entirely upwards or downwards uh, i i hope this solves our problem uh, which it doesn't you can see that uh, uh, the shapes are kind of cut off so i'll uh, open the pre comp one and i'll go into the properties and i'll first of all disable the lock aspect ratio and i'll increase the height just a little bit about um 1090 i think and then if i go back into my main composition uh, i think our job is done so now uh, our job is done but again everything is uniform so i'll go into pre comp one and i'll expand this i'll randomly start uh, moving all the compositions over here i'm also going to select few layers and right click um time and time reverse layer so um uh, i think we've got a little bit more randomness in our composition i think i'll just decrease the resolution and the main comp i forgot i think i've said this before but it's going to be 10 seconds long so uh initially since i stagger these compositions there are uh, some lines which are disappeared so i'll just select and drag them a little bit front and uh, for some reason this is not expanding so i'll go into pre comp and check if that is yeah it should be 15 seconds and um, now it should work there we go So that's basically it. This is the main. Uh, I don't know what you call it. Um, our uh, little tiny elements are moving just like we wanted to. Um, all you can do is create a new solid. Uh, maybe choose a dark gray or something, and um, put it down, and you're done. Uh, uh, something more. If you want to make it a little bit fancy, you can uh, search for an effect called. Uh, yeah gradient ramp uh, drag it on to the background layer um set the start color to let's see mm, somewhere around blue i think this one and the end color to somewhere um uh, between green like that um i think it looks good um you can always um You can swap colors if you don't like it. I think this thing looks a little bit more good. And that's basically it. Um, I'll just leave it to render a little bit. Oh, I I I almost forgot this. Um, I'll go into the pre comp one and expand this and select a few of these compositions randomly. Um, and then I'm gonna hit R and rotate this by uh one hundred and eighty degrees. Uh, now you can see that uh, it it it's kind of messed up, but just don't worry. Uh, we'll go and align the anchor point of all of these compositions towards the bottom, and that just works. So let's go back into the main composition. Uh, you can see that we have uh, what's this? Meanwhile, some of them uh, just moved uh, a little bit towards the left. That's not a problem. We'll uh, again expand this. Um, I don't think we need to expand this. We'll just make sure that the, all of those selections are still selected. Hit P on the keyboard to bring down the position, and then we we are going to move them in uh, the X position, uh, just enough so that they uh, get aligned. Um I think it's done. I uh, will go back to the main comp and uh, you actually cannot see much difference because the first and the last um, object is pentagon. I think I'll change that. I'll go into the pre comp uh into the line actually. 
and uh, the first one is pentagon i'll just uh, bring it down and now if i go into the main comp you can see that uh, the first one is x and the last one is pentagon so i think that wraps it up uh, like i said don't forget to check out the video made by uh, mobox graphics um, if you made it till this end i really appreciate it uh, if this video was helpful don't forget to give a like and also check out my other after effects videos anyways uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you later